So now we're going to do a two-step unit conversion. Uh, that is, I want to change between two metric units. So this is from one metric unit to another metric unit. So it's a metric to metric conversion. And uh, in doing so, I'm going from one metric prefix to another metric prefix. So I need to do this in at least two steps. And the reason I do this in two steps, because looking at this, let's say 4.562 times 10 to the second kilometers to nanometers, I don't know a kilometer to nanometer conversion. What I do know is I know a kilometer to meter conversion, and I know there's a conversion between meters and nanometers, which means I'm going to need to do this in a couple of steps and use an intermediate sort of base unit to go between the two. So let's see how we end up laying that out. So 4.56 times 10 to the second kilometers. And what I'm going to do here is something that I, I frequently do, which is I'm going to let the units do the work and then I'll put in the numbers. So I know I want to get away from units of kilometers, so I'm going to put those on the bottom so they cancel and get units of meters. My question is not asking about meters, it's asking about nanometers. Luckily, I can change from meters to nanometers, and these, those units will cancel as well. Great. All I have to do now is um, put in the actual numbers here. So wherever I have a metric prefix, like here for kilometer and here for nanometer, ones go there. And what that metric prefix means goes in the other spot. So K means 10 to the 3, and nano means 10 to the minus 9. Okay, so all I have to do here is go through and do the multiplication. I can put this in my calculator or I can do just math with powers of 10 and um, go through and do that. So this should come out to 4.56 times 10 to the 14th nanometers. One thing that's super important for you to know is that 4.56 times 10 to the second kilometers is equal to 4.56 times 10 to the 14 nanometers. The distance has not changed. If this was to be like a race or some, some distance I had to travel, going this many kilometers or this many nanometers, it's the same exact distance. These are all effectively multiplying by one. Okay, uh, next one here, going from micrograms, this is micro, or I wrote it that way, uh, going to gigagrams. So again, I don't know a micro to gigagram conversion. I do know a microgram to gram conversion and a gram to gigagram conversion. So 8.50 times 10 to the 12. And that is micrograms. And I want to get rid of units of micrograms, get units of grams, and then go from units of grams to units of gigagrams. So my grams cancel and my micrograms cancel. So it works out pretty well. Wherever my metric prefixes are, I'm going to put a 1. And whatever the metric prefix means, here this means 10 to the minus 6, that's going to go up here. And giga uh, means 10 to the 9. Okay. And um, so this becomes 10 to the minus 15. So 8.50 times 10 to the minus 3 gigagrams. And again, this number of micrograms is equal to this number of gigagrams. One is not bigger or smaller than the other, they are identical. So the whole thing for two-step conversion is you um, basically use multiple conversion factors to get there, and we go to an intermediate unit. So we use an intermediate. So with that, you should be able to convert between any two metric units.